Catalytic converters are a critical part of your car's exhaust system, but they also contain valuable pieces that make them prime targets for theft. According to the National Insurance Crime Bureau, the number of reported catalytic converter thefts increased from roughly 1,300 in 2018 to more than 14,400 in 2020. Here are five things you need to know. First, what is a catalytic converter? A catalytic converter is a requirement in all, auto, in all automobiles across all 50 states and U.S. territories. And what it does is it cleans your emission. It's part of your exhaust system and it, your exhaust travels through it and it cleans it to make more clean air coming out your exhaust. So why is theft on the rise? So why is catalytic converters being sought by criminals? For one, it's a property crime, it's not a violent crime. The, the suspects or the criminals go underneath your car, they use a reciprocating saw that's battery operated and it takes about 30 seconds. This, the big motivator is, and the big driver is this, the precious metals that are contained in a catalytic converter are produced and mined in Russia and South Africa primarily because of the war in Ukraine and the dis general disruption in the supply chain, we've had an exponential increase in the precious metals contained in the catalytic converter. So a catalytic converter before this increase was about $1,200 to replace. Now it can be as high as $5,000 to replace, even if you can find the part. But some cars are targeted for their catalytic converters more than others. There's two things. There's on the commercial side of transport vehicles, so vehicles that are higher off the ground, so the higher off the ground, it's easier to can get to to cut off the catalytic converter. And then vehicles that are efficient, that have two catalytic converters. So energy efficient vehicles or electric vehicles that are hybrids that also run on gas have two catalytic converters, which would be the Toyota Prius and the Ford Fusions as an example. And those are sought after. Is there anything you can do to protect yourself? First thing is good security hygiene for your vehicle. Park your vehicle in a garage if you can, well lit areas. So if there is somebody messing with it, you see something, say something. An individual can call 911. Also, we work with local law enforcement on what's called VIN etching, the vehicle identification number, specifically for every vehicle you have a VIN. We are partnering with local law enforcement to inscribe your VIN on a catalytic converter. So when it is stolen and it's taken into a scrap metal yard, they'll know that that vehicle may be stolen. That VIN number can be ran by law enforcement to see it's a stolen part. But also making sure you have insurance coverage. Your liability insurance that covers you in the event that you're in a car accident does not cover a theft of your vehicle or parts from your vehicle. You need to contact your insurance carrier to ensure you have comprehensive insurance coverage so your part is covered because you will not be covered after the fact. Can you drive your car if your catalytic converter has been stolen? A catalytic converter is required by law in all 50 states and U.S. territories. You must have that emission control device on a vehicle. If you drive that vehicle in one of those states, you very well could be breaking the law by driving that vehicle on a public roadway. So it need to be parked in a storage lot or on your property until it's repaired. Is it drivable? Yes, the vehicle will be drivable. It's going to sound just like it doesn't have a muffler on it. It's going to be very loud. There's going to be a lot of emission and smoke coming out of your exhaust system, but it is going to be drivable. It's just not going to be lawful, most likely, in most 50 states. But getting it repaired may not be a simple task, as current supply chain issues have led to long wait times for new catalytic converters. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Nicole Ellis.